Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create an incredible water simulation like this and trust me, it's so good that uh, you're probably thinking, wait, this is for beginners? Well, believe it or not, you can achieve this high quality water effect in less than 5 minutes. And for that, I'm going to use two plugins. Uh, the first is Lurflux and the second one is Ultra Dynamic Sky. And trust me guys, these plugins are totally game changer. It's absolutely worth the investment. For me, it's been a huge time saver. And now let's dive into the tutorial and see how you can get this level of quality fast and easy. So copy the plugin files into the content folder. You can click right click and show in Explorer. And here you are going to paste the plugin data of your current Unreal Engine project. Now let's set up the water first. So go to Fluid Flux plugin, search for domain and create a new level, empty one and save. And here you are going to search for Ultra Dynamic Sky. Go to Blueprints and drag and drop Blueprint of Ultra Dynamic Sky here. And after that, you are going to set the weather as well. And in the weather details, I'm going to use the preset of Thunderstorm. Create a landscape by going to the landscape mode and create one by one and press create. Now let's set up the water. First, go to the search bar and type domain. Now you can start placing your ship and the other meshes on the water to really bring the scene to life. And as you can see, uh, it has been wet already. So for the wetness of this material, it's really simple. Go to material, double click and uh, go to parent and double click. By default, it show like this. So you just have to do like this for this result. Now I will place these clips and duplicate this and speed up the process for you. And as you can see, it's a stormy weather and uh, waves shouldn't be calm. So for stormy waves, we are going to go into the flux, search for coastline, drag and drop here and uh, into our coastline domain, search for coastline 2 and yes. And another thing, we are going to search for waves. So, yeah. And now, we are going to go back to the coastline too. And in here, I'm going to select ocean wave. And uh, I will hide this ocean wave. So as you can see, our waves are not so calm anymore and now we are going to create a sequence but before that we are going to add our pirate ship so i have drag and drop my ship model and uh, now let's add to our level so compare to the waves uh, it looks like a little ship a toy ship but uh, when we are going to increase the size it will look good 90 should be good so yeah now make sure uh, it's here on object not world and rotate this and yeah i guess uh, our ship is ready to sail so for that i'm going to add a new level sequence and there you go. I'm going to select this, press S. And now I'm going to go on the last frame. And yeah, I'm going to bring this up. 
and click on transform now let's animate our ship so i have played with the transform and see uh, but make sure it's in the linear form so it looks like our ship is in the continuous mode and uh, let's drag this up to slow it down the ship all right so let's set up our camera and do the magic and uh, i'm going to add cinematic and sign camera actor i'll drag and drop my sign camera actor and for this i'm going to something like this so i'm going to play with focal length a little bit and in the camera i'm going to press the s button again there you go i'm going to make this linear and yeah there you go there is how you can easily create water simulation in a very high quality way and that's it how amazing is that with fluid flux and ultra dynamic sky plugin 